A new game mode has been data mined in Smash Bros. Ultimate. I really want to talk about this one with you guys. Block content. What's happening, my block buddies, and welcome to a brand new episode of Block Content's League Speak. My name is Callum, and this is going to be your content for today. Let's talk about this really amazing data mine. And we don't have too much information about this, but we have just about enough to speculate about what it could be because there's a really interesting detail about this leak. Now, I want to give a huge shout out to our good friend Papa Ginos for talking about this in his video. It really got my attention through you guys on Discord as well. So please join the Block Content Discord if you haven't already. You guys are really amazing with sending me news. And let's just talk about this whole thing right here because it's interesting to me that this coincides with a character that we're getting very soon. So all the news that kind of compiles together T kind of tends to make sense up in the end, right? And that for those of you guys who like giveaways, we are giving away a Piranha Plant plushie and this beautiful What's Happening My Block Buddies t-shirt. So remember to like this video, subscribe to Block Content, and comment down below to enter for the giveaways at 30k and one at 50k. All right, guys, let's head right on into this. So this comes from Reddit, the subreddit for Smash Brothers, and they're basically talking about an update on the data mined convention mode. So convention, right, what could that mean? Is that some sort of like code word for something different? Well, it ends up that convention mode has actually been rumored in the past for a long time, and it being in the code is really interesting. So it's being posted by Omega Smash, right, Jigglypuff uh, main. I don't know if this is worthy of another post, he says, but I thought I'd comment on this new mode. If you don't know slash remember, I'm the guy who discovered those blank slots for three online modes, one smash mode and one games and more mode. Almost a month ago, didn't make the Reddit post about it here though. Well, this is interesting because he did actually make that discovery, which is really interesting because they, those were basically blank slots for new game modes that were filled in later. Now, of course, we know that we got stuff like Home Run Contest and we got, of course, the beautiful stage builder and everything. So this seems pretty legit. And of course, everything that has to do with data mining can be checked up pretty easily. Now he says, I actually found convention around that time too. I even mentioned the mode's name in my original Reset Era post, though the person who posted my info on Reddit did not include that part. The file menu.msbt contains a few text strings related to the mode, including its name in a brief description file name text. So this is interesting, right? He's basically talking about someone posting that entire compile of information, but just didn't include that convention stuff just because well, it didn't really say all that much, right? It didn't really talk about things in detail. So it could have been just in the code for nothing. But now, of course, looking at it another time, this person is basically seeing a whole lot more things that make sense. So there's MNU uh, ONL Mel Top Event Convention official tourney qualifiers. That's in the code right there. There's another one that says event convention, win against your rivals and advance to the tourney. And one that says convention in session. And that says now open. So three of these are basically talking about a new mode that says convention, but they also talk about tourneys, right? So could this be some sort of tournament that has a different rule set than the one that we know? Well, I definitely think it will be, and I'm gonna talk about it. If you're wondering, he says, yes, official tourney qualifiers is a separate mode from online tourney. The Mel part means should be found in the Smash sub menu. And originally he actually said, can't find any other info on it, unfortunately, but he has since crossed that out saying, edit only just noticed a lot of additional text strings. I think these might explain the mode a little bit more. So here's info about that really interesting convention mode that basically talks about, you know, different code that is in the game. So this could relate to buttons that need to be pressed. This could relate to information that is in the game, like in the lower screen that actually talks about what the mode is. And of course the rule sets. So the first one says event date. 
and the second one closed says event end. So this is possibly something that is based on a certain time, right? Like the tourneys are now, but it'll be something different, something quite like it, but something different. Now there's a help entry saying fight to qualify for a spot in the tournament. So this is really interesting, right? It seems like it's some sort of pre-tournament, some sort of, you know, big leagues kind of thing where you really have to fight people in order to participate in a huge different kind of tournament. Help info says check the tourney's rules and details. So that is of course probably a help button next to it. Then it says help results and it says check the official tourney qualifiers that have already ended. So you can actually check out tournaments that have ended maybe in some sort of like voyeurism way, which would be really interesting. Now in session says it's now open. So you can click it now, possibly because you've already won something right there. The other one, info, says tourney info, so quite possibly some information generally about the tournament, so this is when you've already qualified, right? And then one for enter, so this is pro probably like an enter button, information about that, and count day is of course days until it starts, hours until it starts, minutes until it starts, and it's saying starting soon. And the final one says view results. So all of this is extremely interesting and the reason why it is is because we are going to get Terry Bogard from SNK in Super Smash Bros. Ultimate and that character is known from coming from the series where three on three battles are pretty much a regular thing that kind of discovered that whole thing. And of course, we do have a three on three battle system in Super Smash Bros. Ultimate and that is called Squad Strike. Now, this mode has only been a kind of multiplayer couch, you know, uh, experience that is not online yet, which I always thought was a huge miss for Smash Bros. Ultimate because a three on three system, I think, would be really interesting to see um, where you basically swap out of characters. I think that that would be very interesting and I think that even if a character doesn't perish, being able to swap out of characters that still have the same damage percentage would be really cool. So all of this combined, I feel like two things are adding up here. One, that this is definitely in the code and that everything data mined so far has pretty much in some form or another come true in Smash Brothers, right? That is really big, really interesting and really amazing because what happens here is basically we've got a glimpse into the future of Super Smash Brothers Ultimate. We've got a glimpse at a mode that we'll probably be playing and the actual info that goes beside it. But on the other hand, we have Terry Bogard and I think that if you were release this mode alongside that character, well, somehow they gotta make sense, right? I think with Joker, we've got so much content in Smash Bros. Ultimate in that update, and with Banjo, we, you know, basically just got Sand back, the home run contest mode, and that doesn't really fit with that character all that much, you know, it doesn't really have any, you know, home run contest, you know, imagery aside from that character. But I feel like if you're going to do this one, if you're going to do this convention mode next to Terry Bogard, that would definitely make a lot of sense for the character. I could even see that happening in his stage, right? The stage that has been teased so far, the beautiful King of Fighters ring. So all of this information combined, I feel like there's really something here to think about a three on three battle system, or at least a tournament that has some special rule sets. So Sakurai very famously said, you know, we are probably not going to add too many modes. Um, this is this is pretty much the final mode. Now, pretty much the final mode. Of course, as Smash fanatics say, well, he didn't completely rule it out, and it seems like some modes like this might still get added that are not completely big new modes, but kind of riff on things that we know and bring them online. So I think that this would be incredible. I love Squad Strike. I even love Smash Down, and those game modes not being online was a huge miss for the series, and they can still make it happen through DLC, so they're gonna have to. So thank you guys so much for letting me know what you think of this. So put it down in the comments below, you could be featured in our next video. As for a previous comment question, it comes to us by way of our user Sasaki999Pro saying, Wait, what? Gallum is an animator? Since when? Well, this comment actually came from a Sans video that we did, a video on Undertale in Smash Brothers, where actually Sans chimed in on the intro and we had a special new intro sequence where Sans was basically saying, oh yeah, this is the channel, uh, 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 this is the channel about the guy who's an animator but wastes his time doing leak videos on Smash Brothers, which I thought was a very funny in-joke to make about myself. 
Well, some of you guys might know this, a lot of you guys probably don't because you just watch the block content videos for either the Snake Codex or stuff like the Leak Speaks. But yes, uh, I'm an animator, I've been for more than 10 years, I actually got my start in everything like media through making flipbooks and then animations and then doing video game design and then directing video games. That evolved into feature film directing, that evolved into, you know, making these videos, that evolved into pretty much doing everything that has to do with making pictures move on a screen. So making YouTube videos like this is a little bit of a weird corner of that, but it's still a lot of fun to do. And um, I would love to share like my portfolio with you guys when the time comes, when it's, you know, fun on the channel to do that kind of stuff. I did a lot of fan games back in the day like that. That's talking like nine years ago or something like that, where I even did a Smash fan game. So a lot of that content is coming your way, but I feel like the relevant stuff needs to get out of the way first and that's all this smash brothers content and even our new show where we talk about new banjo and kazooie easter eggs and smash brothers ultimate that we made and the one with king k rule is out so go check that out so thank you so much for that comment it was fun to read and of course remember if you're not yet a member of the block content family yet please subscribe to the channel it would help out a lot and recently i can't even see exactly how many subscribers i have that's a new update within youtube you have to dig really deep in your analytics to see it so please subscribe so i can see all the beautiful faces that join blocked content of course all the news and fun that you care about will be delivered on the daily to you so thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you around the corner where there's always more new game outs for smash ultimate and blocked content see ya